You guys might remember a few weeks ago when I managed to cast ice inside of resin and we're all surprised that it actually worked because as we know water and resin shouldn't be put together. So I thought for this week's experiment why don't I try and pour water straight into resin and see if it'll cure. Now I'm using a slow set resin for this one. It's a two part epoxy mixed at a ratio of 3 to 1. Now I'm just going to pop in some black food colouring into the water. Hope that's enough. Didn't have much left in the bottle. Nicole does love to make her cupcakes. I think that looks pretty good. So I don't really have a plan for this. I'm just going to dump the water in and give it a good mix. I'm not too sure what will happen. I think maybe the water might separate and rise to the top. But I really don't know. What do you guys think will happen? Wow, that's trippy. Looks like a lava lamp. Alright, let's put it in the pot and see what happens. I nearly forgot, I wanted to pour it into this smaller cup. Unfortunately blanks are hard to get out of these. Alright, let's pop it in. So now that you guys have just seen pot cam, it's now time for me to take a look. Wow. Well, I didn't expect that. Well, I gotta say, I'm really surprised with how this turned out. It seems to be fully cured. Apart from a bit of liquid on top here, which is nowhere near the amount that we actually put into it, it seems to be okay. I mean, apart from it going milky, it definitely seems like it's cured. I think the next thing we need to do is take this out of the cup and cut it in half. That way we can look at the cross section and see if we can notice any water. Okay, let's see what we got. It looks pretty good. It feels completely cured all the way through. Well, I've got to admit, I'm really surprised by this. I put a lot of water in there and it's completely solid. There's no soft spots in there at all. I think we need to try this experiment again, but this time when I pour the water in, I won't stir it, we'll just leave it. I'm mixing up a smaller batch of resin this time, and since Nicole used all the black food colouring, I've raided the kitchen drawers and I found some blue. So like I said before, let's just dump the water in and see what happens. Now already, it's just floating to the top. There are a few bubbles sort of suspended in between. Now I'm not sure if once I put it under pressure, 
whether that'll change anything, but I'm tempted to give it a stir. I might just give it one little stir. Nothing too major, just to get a bit of mixture going. All just keeps coming back to the top. Alright, that's it. Oh, right, let's just dump it in and watch pot cam. So it looks like we've got two completely different outcomes. The first one, when you mix the water fully in the resin, it'll cure just fine. But the second time when you just pour it in, it'll all come to the top. I guess that's good to know in case you accidentally spill water in resin. If you don't mix it in, it will rise to the top, that way you can get it back out again. It is interesting that the resin has tinted slightly blue though, almost like the food colouring separated slightly from the water and is mixed into the resin. Well that's gone completely hard, so now we've just got a blue tinted blank. Well guys, that's it for this week's episode, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.